Hey guys, Mike with Fabinoki here. Hey, uh, today we're going to make a video doing uh, mink oil on the factory leather seats. Um, well, I say they're factory leather seats. They're factory Porsche seats that we're putting in this car. They're actually not to this car at all. These are actually 996 um, turbo uh, seats with the crest in the headrest. They're really nice seats. But, uh, but anyway, so they don't bolt directly in, so I have to make mounts. Um, they don't move because they're power, so I have to hook them up. So I knew this whenever I bought them, though. All right, so I contacted one of the Porsche dismantlers and got the factory plugs. So I should be able to, in theory, plug these in. Whoop. Not break them. Plug them into the seats. Figure out which wires. Now it should be pretty simple, actually. There is uh, three browns, a red, and a purple. That ought to be pretty simple. Typically, browns are crown, and red and purple probably power and. 12 volt and switched maybe who knows we'll figure it out so yeah so we'll have to be able to do all that once we're ready to stick them in the car the seller actually had them packaged and it says 9096 pigtail wire seats that's actually pretty cool for a used dismantler to do that all right so to uh mink oil these first we need to clean the dust off the seat so wipe them down um maybe some water or or just a dry towel but uh, basically you don't want to just start rubbing dirt into them get out all the cracks crevices these are dusty from sitting here in my shop for the past month, I think I got them about a month ago, something like that. My daughter and I went down to Dallas and picked them up. Uh, they're very heavy. Um, you know, a pair of race seats would lighten the car up a lot, but uh, I like factory seats. So, anyway. There's the one I use for the dust. I'm not in dirt. I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use a clean, fresh, clean one. It's like polishing a shoe. Okay. Get the mink oil traveling on your cloth. Okay, and then just start in a circle and start rubbing it in. What this does is it softens up the leather. It's like leather food. Softens up the leather, makes it more supple. Um, it keeps it more agile, longer. I don't know the exact word you should be using for it, but uh, uh, I've had Porsches for many years and I've used Meats Foot Oil and Mink Oil, both. And uh, I don't know which one's better. I just use whichever one I can get my hands on at the time. And uh, it makes it makes the seats more supple. I know that. So what I mean by that is here, where the seams get tight on a lot of these seats as they get aged. Hi there, Winston. Um, this will actually you do two or three of this, and it'll let the seat relax. So, but uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Just rub it in. You can already tell the difference, this top of this seat versus the top of that one. You just want to rub it in good.
Uh, these are, um, <laughs> these seats are, a lot of Porsche seats were just leather faced and then vinyl on the sides and backs. These are, the car that these came out of was full leather. So it's a, it was a nice car, whoever had it. But makes nice seats for my car. And I'll probably do this two or three more times, but like once a month or so. So it'll be over several months. Let this leather relax. And after I do this, I'm probably going to wrap them in plastic. So we don't get a bunch of, because there's nothing here in my shop. And it's good to do it on a warm day or a warmer day because the uh, main coil is actually melting as I rub the rag in it. Whereas if it was on a cold day, uh, it wouldn't come off onto the rag real well. It wouldn't transfer. Nice. Very nice. Okay, you can already tell the sheen difference. I mean, maybe not on camera, but I can right here. Let's start hitting it down here where it's got cracks in it. This is the driver's seat, and uh, the bolster is not torn where people got in and out of it, but there are cracks. So I knew this going into it, and uh, if I was to have any seat repairs done, I could have this and this replaced. But so far, so good still. put a lot of it on right here because this is where I want it to relax the most and where these seams come together. Hey, wait. Shop done. Side drill well. Front, sides, and back. All right. And you just repeat that on the second seat, guys. Um, just to cover a few things, uh, I've been a little under the weather for a few weeks now, and, uh, that's why I haven't made four or five videos a week, 
and I'm fine. Just been, you know, cold, seasonal allergies, nothing major. But uh, that's why we haven't been making as many videos as we, we normally do, or have been in the past, say, month or two. And, uh, uh, and also why I haven't tackled some of the harder uh, issues with the car. Uh, my plans out of the gate was to do the tank first. Haven't tackled that yet, didn't feel good. And, uh, and I was gonna do the shifter. Haven't tackled that yet. So those are first on my list here in these next, for next week is uh, I wanna do the shifter and the tank out. And then probably the following week, shifter, pedals, and tank. And then probably the following week, we'll start pulling the motor and gearbox out of it. And uh, then we'll start uh, systematically going through um, each corner of the car. So we're gonna do like a trailing arm in the rear with new bushings, clean the trailing arm completely down to bare aluminum, um, make sure it's all uh, new bearings, new bushings, new hardware, um, new brakes, um, new brake lines, brake hoses, and then move, and then detail, strip the paint down and then going to primer it and then um, pour 15 each of the inner fenders and underneath the car completely from one end to the other and then uh, and then move to the next corner and do the suspension and brakes and bearings and bushings and all that and brake hoses so go all the way around each four corners and then we'll start putting the car back together with the new fuel cell and the radiator and motor and training and stuff like that so that's the goal with the car that's how i'm planning on proceeding with it so of course those change but uh that's that's what we're this is winston hey don't lick the leather we just did <laughs> i know it probably is not bad for you actually it's all natural but uh anyway hey guys please help us get to a thousand subscribers and uh like share comment subscribe thank you guys